few things are as Florida as a tall glass of orange juice. Florida farmers produce more than $9 billion worth of citrus every year, but they're in a fight. Well, the industry is suffering very badly from the infection of this, uh, this particular disease. Dr. Tim Gottwald with the U.S. Department of Agriculture says citrus disease has spread rapidly in the Sunshine State. We've lost tremendous production. Uh, probably close to 75% of the production. In the back of this SUV, it could be the key to reversing course. Good boy. It's a new thought process for the growers. Bill Moritis is with F1 K9. The dog's olfactory senses are thousands times better than what a human can smell. With funding from a USDA grant, the retired Volusia County Sheriff's deputy and his team of trainers have put their experience to use, spending years to research how dogs can literally sniff out citrus disease. And it far surpassed what anybody from even a, a scientific point of view realized or understood. Good girl. And that's what makes it such a viable tool, was taking that sensitivity and then putting it into this type of industry. Citrus disease is widespread across Florida and it's actually easily spread because of humans and tiny insects that literally spread it from tree to tree to tree. But the efforts of these dogs, well, you could say there are fruits to their labor. The citrus industry in California healthy if we have an early enough detection methodology. We can find the disease and get rid of it before it takes off and keep essentially the industry healthy. Let's go soak. That can also be done here in Florida, where the citrus industry is on the move. Either in new orchards that are planted if they're large enough acreages, or actually to the burgeoning industry that's going on in North Florida and South Georgia. As their skills are fine-tuned, the focus will soon include not just citrus, but fruits and vegetables of all kinds, helping Florida's multi-billion dollar agriculture business to keep rolling. In Lake County, Greg Angel, Spectrum News.